Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at the Coachman Caravans launch event for 2024 and unfortunately yes it is raining but we will do our absolute best as we whiz around these two new VIP models for the 2024 season. So in this vlog I am going to give you a first look at the VIPs, the two that are on here today. Unfortunately, I've no facts and figures as it is a first look, but I will put a link in the description below to the website and hopefully all those figures and the important prices will be available there. So let's get cracked on. Okay, first of all, let us look at this. This here, this is the Coachman VIP 575. This is a single axle caravan from the VIP range. This is above Arcadia, but below Laser. We've got the white exterior and then the decals for 2024. If you can see there, there are grey and then we've got this yellow cracked uh, sort of graphic, almost like broken tiles is how I'm describing it. Let's venture around the back and see the back of the VIP. So we've got these light clusters here that you can see there. We've got the white coachman back end. And then the offside, we've got our various service points. We do also have an uh, offside awning light. We've got the vent for the Alder as well. So we know we're going to get the Alder wet central heating, which is across all the coachmans. Right, that's the exterior. Let's go and have a look inside and see what we're getting. We'll venture in through the door. Okay, I'll just close that. It is a one piece door with window and bin in it. As we head in, let's clamber in here. So let's take a look at this lounge area first of all. We've got the two sofa seats. We've got the big coachman sunroof and windows. We've got the pioneer system fitted and various sockets and uh, charging points dotted around. The colors, mm, I would describe this as almost like a, it's almost got a very lilac, colour undertone. I could be totally wrong but the camera may well show it up and then we've got like a, a almost a very light blue here and then a yellowy oatmeal-y colour on the fabrics and the cushions. Kitchen space, got a nice little kitchen. We do have a flap to give us some extra worktop space. We've got a nice splash back here. I don't know if you can see the colours on the splash back. This is quite a light caravan compared to some of the um, Coachman models because we have got a nice lighter wood. We've got a good amount of floor space. And then here we've also got some extra worktop space. We've got a Thetford under counter fridge and freezer. Let's see if I can get into there for us. There we go. So this is a four berth single axle caravan and this is mid range for Coachman. Let's have a wander back into the bedroom space. So we've got an island bed, it's a transverse bed. We've got some wardrobe space on either side. The bed's currently retracted so we can see the amount of floor space that we've got around it. Then we've got a large window. We'll come to the bathroom in a minute. Got plenty of lockers above there. And then the bathroom, we've got this door sliding door that's a wide a wide opening into the bathroom we've got Thetford toilet we've got the Alder heating the towel rail I like this little um, rear washroom we've got the um, fruit basin sink swivel tap storage underneath a good size mirror good size shower cubicle as well that's finished nicely I always like the coachman bathrooms they always they're always a bit, if I'm honest, they're the best of, of the British manufacturers, um, I think, personally. Others may agree. Please do tell me in your comments. But you always get a little bit of a higher end experience, I think, with the coachman bathrooms. Let's turn ourselves around and we can just have a look back down the caravan so you can see a nice, light, airy and open. There we go. Right, I'm going to dive us out into the rain. Fingers crossed. Let's clamber out. So there we go. Five, seven, five. I'll just close this behind me because it is raining. So that's five, seven, five. Single axle, four berth. We'll move on now. VIP six, seven, five. Twin axle. 
let's have a look. So here we go. Now, obviously the exterior, we're almost the same, apart from we're a bit longer and we've got uh, two wheels on this side, but we've got our gas barbecue point, our hookup points. We can tell we're going to get a tower fridge freezer in this model. Let's go in and have a look, 675. Now, I'll just close this massive cupboard before we start. There we go. Okay, lounge area. We've got the sofas, same colour scheme. This is nice again, it is light. We've got the big coachman window. This is their feature window across there. I like it, I do like that. We've got another big sunroof there, letting lots of light in. Got some uh, drawers there. We've got the chargers, a plug socket, the Pioneer system. Let's turn around. So we're almost identical to the last fan, obviously. We're just a little bit longer. But it gives you that option. If you don't want to tow a twin axle or it's too heavy, you've got the option of that four berth single. So it's just giving you more options. This model, because it's longer, we've got a lot more worktop space. We've got a flap. We've got these nice long drawers. These are nice. Let's just have a look inside. So these are nice and long. And are they going to be soft clothes? I don't think we're, I don't think we're overly level, so that isn't going to help. Oh, we've got the pull-out rack. This is one of my favourites, this. There we go. That's nice. But again, Coachman's, they're not cheap. You're at the top end, so you want luxuries. Um, I don't just want to see a shelf. OK, we've got the Thetford um, oven, grill, hob. We've got the Russell Hobbs microwave up there. This was a cupboard I mentioned when we came in. I'll just open this up. This is a good overhead cupboard space. Really good size. Massive. Close that locker. This is the gloss coloured locker um, that a lot of their kitchens have. We've got, again, the same little bit of space on their storage cupboard. We've got the Thetford big tower fridge freezer. Now, this is a good size. I'll just open that up so you can see inside there and then the freezer compartment as well. Good size. A little bit of storage just overhead as well. Let's go into the bedroom. So it's the same island bed on the near side wall of the caravan. Because it's longer, we're literally just getting, everything's just stretched a bit. Let's have a look in this wardrobe. The Alder header tank is in there. And then we've got plenty of um, LED lights dotted around, cupboards. We've got the sunroof that's above the bed, just letting extra light into the bedroom. A nice window on the side and then we've got the same bathroom let's venture back again the sliding door is open good amount of space going in we've got the Thetford toilet we've got the mirror the shower cubicle nice good sized shower as well plenty of floor space in here there we go and we'll just look back down into the caravan to give us an idea okay so for 2024 those are the vip caravans from coachman we've got the this one the 675 and then we've got the single axle 575 so there we go just a first look as i say to give you an idea of fabrics decals links in the description below so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one